I'm Dr. Ashish Khare, Senior Plastic Surgeon at Kalosa Aesthetics. I practice extensively at Delhi and Gurgaon and have expertise of doing more than 5,000 plus basal liposuctions, which includes liposuctions of all the major areas of the body. I'm happy to share some of my experiences here in this video. Deciding for liposuction is a difficult decision for any patient. Everybody wants to try for non-surgical options first, but when they do need to switch to something as effective as liposuction. Who should opt for liposuction surgery and who should not? What decides success of the liposuction surgery? What are the most important post-operative concerns? When will a patient get back to his or her normal routine life after the surgery? And why India is the favorite destination for liposuction procedures? I will answer all these most genuine questions about liposuction procedure in this video and stay till the end to know why India is becoming popular as a liposuction surgery destination. Let me also remind you about my YouTube channel Kalosa Cosmetics. Please subscribe to it and receive regular updates about plastic surgery videos. You can also visit our website kalosaaesthetics.com and www.kalosa.in. And let us answer also your 25 most important queries about the liposuction. Now, what is a liposuction procedure? Liposuction surgery is a body contouring surgery where fat areas resistant to diet and exercise are suctioned out and body given a new shape. So areas which have not reduced even after vigorous exercise and all sorts of diet modifications and which make your confidence go down are best dealt with liposuction. Remember, it is not a weight loss surgery. So do not expect significant reduction in your weight. I have patients requesting liposuctions and reduce their weight from 100 kgs to 65 kgs. So I have always refused them and make them understand that this is not the correct surgical option for them. You do get inch loss in liposuction and a more figurative and attractive body. That is the beauty of liposuction. But there are certain criteria which decide whether you can go for liposuction or not. I will discuss shortly this in detail. Now, how is the liposuction surgery different from the bariatric surgery? Now, if you want overall weight reduction from your body and you are morbidly obese, then you should opt for bariatric surgery. People call me that they are 125 kgs and ask me if liposuction will help them as they are a little scared of the bariatric surgery. But I still tell them your ideal candidate for a bariatric surgery which is actually a weight loss surgery but liposuction is just a body contouring surgery giving you a better shape. Now who is the ideal candidate for the liposuction surgery? There are few main criteria for choosing ideal liposuction patient and that decides the success of your liposuction results also. Firstly, the patient should be within 30% of his or her ideal body weight. Supposedly, if your ideal body weight should be 60 kgs according to your height and you present to me with a weight of 75 kgs with a hanging lower abdomen with prominent love handles, surely I would be happy to do your liposuction. But certainly if you present to me with a weight of 120 kgs, I will not do the liposuction. Secondly, any medical ailments should be under control like diabetes and hypertension. If you have a diabetes and hypertension, it should be fully under control. But along with this chronic medical conditions, you are having a heart ailment. Certainly, you should not go for a liposuction. Thirdly, skin elasticity. Definitely, the quality of the skin determines the post-operative results. If your skin is very much loose and fragile, 
definitely along with a liposuction you should go for a tummy tuck procedures but if your skin is good in quality and certainly you can get a good results post liposuction procedures fourthly patient should have tried diet and exercise and then realize that the fat she wants to reduce is resistant to all this fifth patient should have realistic expectations he should understand that liposuction is not a weight loss surgery it's a better contour and figure correction surgery sixth patient should be ready to follow an active lifestyle post liposuction surgery and take care of the diet they are having liposuction is the stepping stone and not the end to your beautiful body to maintain it an active lifestyle with exercise should be followed diet should be low calorie and high protein diet with adequate hydration to the body should be maintained how to choose the doctor and which doctor should be approached for a liposuction surgery liposuction surgery is a medical procedure it needs a definitive level of expertise and knowledge about the anatomy of your body your safety should always be kept in mind a plastic surgeon is a specialized doctor who has expertise in liposuction he has knowledge about body contours and wound healing hence he is the he is the best doctor to approach for a case of liposuction i often meet people who actually give this criteria least importance and they do not even bother to look at the qualification of their doctor or rather they do not understand anything about it i have seen them going to even non plastic surgeon doctors and only thing they bother is the cost of the procedure rather than their safety Stop. next question is tummy tuck better than a liposuction in removing fat or how do the two surgeries differ tummy tuck surgery or the abdominoplasty surgery involves a incision mark on your body usually at the pecuni line extending from one pubic bone bony prominence to the other this incision can be extended or shortened depending upon the type of abdominoplasty surgery we are dealing with this further involves tightening of the muscle and removal of the excess skin and finally closure sometimes umbilicus is given a new position if it has come down a lot or has got displaced from its normal anatomical position nowadays all the tummy tuck procedures involves liposuction procedures also so collectively called as lipo abdominoplasty now who are the patients who should go for a tummy tuck and not just the plain liposuction firstly patients having a lot of loose skin secondly patients having a poor skin elasticity thirdly the patients who have completed their family and lastly if you have a previous cesarean scar or the financial incision you can go for a tummy tuck surgery a part liposuction i have lot of patients complaining of post pregnancy stretch marks and they ask me can i still get a liposuction done well i always answer them stretch marks are unfortunately really common and really difficult to get rid of but significant stretch marks are an indication that your skin has been damaged and has cracks on the inside that's what the stretch marks are so if you are skin has a stretch marks it probably means that it won't tighten up as well as someone else skin after liposuction so that might be a little bit of warning to you that you might get a little bit of loose skin after liposuction procedure so it is better to opt for a lipo abdominoplasty procedures in such cases next question what are the common areas where liposuction is performed various areas where liposuction can be performed are as follows it can be the face chin liposuction for double chin 
there's a lot of fat deposition in the neck. It often looks embarrassing to many. It can be reduced successfully with liposuction, especially if combined with an ultrasound energy or the vaser or the radio frequency. The ultrasound energy helps in redraping of the skin better to the underlying muscles and giving better jawline definition. Cheek fat removal. The better option is buccal fat pad removal through the intraoral approach. The second option where the liposuction is most sought are the arms. Arm liposuctions are the brachioplasty. Arm contouring by a high definition vaser liposuction. This will enable you to fulfill your dreams, contoured arms, and you can confidently flaunt any sleeveless dress or a beach wear. Abdomen. This is the most sought after area for liposuction. Pouting belly is a cause of depression for many, as these are resistant to diet and exercise. People look for abdomen, both upper and the lower liposuction, love handles or the flank liposculpting. They also look for hourglass figure or sometimes a 360 degree liposuction. Fourth point, back liposuction. This is also one area where fat protrudes out of your body, hugging dress and takes away all your confidence. I usually see patient wanting brafol liposuction, lower back liposuction, correction of hip dip deformity or violent deformity correction as well. After this, it's the thighs. Ideally, your thighs should not meet when you walk together. This may affect your look, gait as well as cause friction at the side and hence thigh liposuction is in a great demand. Vaser liposuction of thighs can correct the saddleback's deformity that includes the lateral aspect of the thigh fat as well as the medial aspect and the lipodystrophy we find around the knees as well. Another sort area after the thighs is the calf liposuction. Liposuction below knee is usually not preferred as it may give rise to a compartment syndrome. But if exceptionally there is a huge amount of fat deposit around the calf, it may be done explaining the risk to the patient. Multiple areas of the body can be combined in one sitting of liposuction, usually decided by the surgeon, giving priority to the safety of the patient. Next question. What are the important concerns to discuss with your doctor before liposuction procedure? You should always meet your operating surgeon prior to the surgery. You should freely discuss your concerns, areas as well as your expectations. I always tell my patients whether their expectations are realistic or not. You should inform about any other prior surgery done on your body. Also, if you are a smoker or a regular drinker, your doctor should be knowing it. Your doctor may tell you to stop them few days for best results. You should always discuss any other medical conditions affecting you. Any blood thinners or anticoagulants being taken should be informed prior to the surgery. The true picture of yourself you present to the doctor, the better understanding that doctor gets and tries to give you the best outcome. Next question. Can liposuction be combined with other aesthetic procedures also? Yes, definitely. Liposuction can be combined with tummy tuck, breast reduction or as a holistic approach be a part of mommy makeover surgery. The liposuction fat can be used as a fat injections as anti-aging, rejuvenating product on face and for augmenting tissues such as breast or the labia. Next question. Is ultrasound of the abdomen necessary before liposuction surgery? Yes, definitely. Ultrasound should always be done prior to liposuction surgery. Many patients tell me that if we are not piercing the muscle and the peritoneum, why is the ultrasound required? Well, ultrasound is important for two reasons. 
Firstly, you can get to know about any undetected hernial sites which may save you from getting into any complication later. Secondly, in females, it can give you any idea about the polycystic ovaries if present. You can refer the patient to a gynecologist for further hormonal assay as well. Next question. What are the different type of liposuctions? Liposuctions. Well, answering this question, there are many types of liposuctions available. The firstly, they are tumescent liposuction, the vasor or the ultrasound assisted liposuction, the power assisted liposuction, and the laser assisted liposuction. Coming to the tumescent liposuction, this is the most common type of liposuction. It involves injecting a large amount of medicated solution into the area before the fat is removed. Sometimes the solution or the tumescent solution may be up to three times the amount of fat to be removed. The fluid is a mixture of local anesthetic that is the lidocaine and an epinephrine which constrict the blood vessels. Lidocaine helps to numb the area during the surgery. It is the only anesthesia needed for this procedure. Epinephrine in the solution helps reduce loss of blood, bruising and swelling. The IV solution helps remove the fat more easily. It is suctioned out along with the fat. This type of liposuction generally takes longer than other types. The other one is the power assisted liposuction. Unlike traditional liposuction, the power assisted liposuction relies on a cannula that vibrates as it is inserted into the area containing the fatty tissues. The vibration helps reduce the layer of stubborn fat into small chunks making them easier to remove. The cannula is used for suctioning out the loosened fat cells from the body. The next type of liposuction maneuver is the ultrasound or the vasor energy. The ultrasound assisted liposuction uses ultrasonic vibrations to turn the fat cells into liquid. Afterward, the cells can be vacuumed out. These techniques may help to remove fat from a dense, fibrous area of the body such as the upper back or the enlarged male breast tissue. Ultrasound liposuction is often used together with the tumescent technique. Laser assisted liposuction. Laser assisted liposuction uses laser energy to liquefy fat cells. After the cells are liquefied, they can be suctioned out because the tube during the laser assisted liposuction is smaller than the one used in traditional liposuction. So just prefer using laser assisted liposuction for confined areas. These areas may include chin, jaws and face. A possible advantage of laser assisted liposuction over other liposuction method is that energy from the laser stimulates collagen production. This may help prevent skin sag after liposuction. Collagen is a fiber-like protein that helps maintain skin structure. But the biggest disadvantage of using laser liposuction is the possibility of internal burns if the surgeon is not careful as laser produces a lot of heat energy. Now the next liposuction I'm talking about is the radio frequency based liposuction. The radio frequency assisted liposuction also known as body tight or the face tight. It's a relatively new, minimally invasive procedure which uses thermal energy to promote skin tightening and remove unwanted fat. Any of these techniques can produce excellent results in the right hands. What method of liposuction do we prefer at Calosa? We prefer doing liposuctions with laser technology as it is quick, effective, result oriented and has high level of safety for the patients. It does not cause burns and has minimal disadvantages. Next question. What are the basic steps of liposuction surgery? Liposuction surgery is basically done in two steps. The first step is to insert into the area of liposuction this tumescent fluid and that fluid is a combination of a painkiller 
to make it more comfortable for the patient as well as what's called a vasoconstrictive agent which is an agent used to shrink the blood vessels to ensure that there is less bruising that's what i typically use and then afterwards giving this time to take effect then we are going with the liposuction cannula suction cannula which is to suck out the fat and complete the procedure how many days of hospitalization should be required for a liposuction surgery well small areas of liposuction can be done under local anesthesia and usually are a day care procedure sometimes the patient can be discharged just after half an hour or 45 minutes post procedure if the area of liposuction is big we prefer to keep the patient overnight for proper monitoring next question does liposuction surgery leave any permanent scar liposuction surgery is a minimally invasive it is done through a minimal scars which are hardly more than 2 mm in size and which generally fade away with time and the best part is these scars are given at the body creases like pelvic crease or the umbilical folds so they are hardly visible so none of the scars of liposuction are visible next question when should i start walking post liposuction surgery well after the surgery has been performed early ablation is the key to successful operative procedure we prefer to make the patient ambulate after 4 to 6 hours post surgery gradual walking needs to be increased and by day 7 we expect you to resume your normal activities if pain has subsided which generally does next question what are the immediate post operative complications following a liposuction procedure well going for a surgery there can be some complications there can be pain slight bruising edema in the liposuction areas which are taken care of by oral medicines and gradually in a span of 5 7 or 10 days these complications or minimal complications disappear next question what are the delayed complications seroma is one of the important delayed complications which result in after an aggressive liposuction this usually results due to collection of fluid due to the damaged lymphatics these are purely harmless except for the pain and can be easily drained out on an opd basis i have seen patients getting panicky because of this but you need not worry your doctor will periodically drain them and they usually gradually settle and after that you can expect a good results after the drainage of the seroma next question why pressure garment is important part of the post operative care well after the surgery the pressure garments are the integral part of the post operative care they are usually customized according to the size of the patient these pressure pressure garments helps in decrease of edema and helps in better redraping of the skin to the underlying tissues so i tell all my patients that half of the job i have done but the rest half need to be done by them by wearing these pressure garments for most of the time for 4 to 6 weeks they need to be periodically tightened according to your contour next question my loose skin get back to the normal post operatively if you have a lot of loose skin liposuction may not be the answer for you as you know liposuction removes fat but it doesn't help with loose skin newer liposuction technique to help in better redraping of skin but if too much of loose skin is present with poor skin elasticity you may need atomic tech procedure next question 
when can i resume my usual daily activities well daily activities can be resumed once pain decreases patient is asked to ambulate early exercise is promoted usually depending on the area of liposuction patient can resume activities from day 3 to day 10 next question when should i plan my liposuction surgery before my special event many patients come to me that we will be taking leaves at a stretch during our marriage can i plan my surgery 15 days prior to that so that rest can be done at home my honest answer is no you should understand that liposuction surgery has some downtime there is gradual edema of that particular part there is some minimal bruising there can be a repeated seroma so final result is seen once the subside you should plan your special event at least 3 to 6 months post liposuction surgery next question if i want to go for a re liposuction surgery when should i go for it the final result of liposuction usually takes 3 to 6 months as till then edema subsides so best is to wait at least for 6 months before deciding on for re liposuction procedure if there are small areas of liposuction that can be done in local anesthesia as well they can be done after 6 months of the previous liposuction procedure next question why india is now a preferred destination for the liposuction surgeries medical science and infrastructure has taken a giant leap in india and indian doctors are known to be diligent knowledgeable and meticulous in their work indian government has made medical tourism cooperative and realistic you can expect same medical facility as in us or europe but at a much affordable prices hence India is now a favorite destination for cosmetic surgery patients especially liposuction and body contouring procedures. Yes. The final question. What decides the cost of the liposuction surgeries? We always get patients confused about the different cost quoted to them by different doctors. My dear friends, this need to be clarified that many factors decide the cost of liposuction surgeries and you need to know this firstly liposuction costs vary from person to person as the plastic surgeon would recommend different tests medications and post op care for each individual based on their requirements medical history and current health status these are some of the main factors that will influence the cost of your liposuction procedure secondly experience and expertise of the doctor the number of years added to the surgeon or the number of past results add to the additional cost to the surgery you should not hitch in spending for the better one as your health and safety are in hands of the surgeon thirdly the area and the volume to be treated large areas require more operating time and anesthesia hence cost more also the cost of the single area will be lower than the cost of the liposuction for the multiple areas however many clinics offer package deals and so you might be able to get a significant discount if you choose to go in for a liposuction for multiple areas of your body fourth the type of liposuction procedure the cost of the liposuction procedure depends largely on the type of the liposuction perform as each treatment has different requirements in terms of equipment time and surgeon skill never assume that the best liposuction procedure is the one that is the most expensive for instance the laser assisted liposuction can be quite expensive as the machines are costly however although this is one of the most expensive type of liposuction it also 
has a significant side effects including burns and heat generation. On the other hand, the tubicin liposuction does not require intravenous or gaseous anesthesia since it is performed only under local anesthesia. Tubicin liposuction can also give you best results in low cost. Cost of additional procedures and post-op care The liposuction is sometimes performed in conjunction with other procedures. Liposuction and tummy tuck procedures are the most common combination. Another popular combination is liposuction and breast augmentation. Number 6. The type of anesthesia used and the dosage will largely depend on the type of liposuction and the amount of fat to be suctioned. If your doctors say that you will require general anesthesia for your procedure, you can expect your liposuction cost to get up considerably as this would require a certified anesthesiologist. If your surgeon recommends an experienced anesthesiologist, don't resent the additional expenditures. Many of the risks of the liposuctions are connected to the anesthesia that is used as well as the anesthesiologist skills. Using a good anesthesiologist will send your cost up but reduce your risk of liposuction complication. So friends, hope this video would have cleared all your doubts about liposuction. Kindly watch my YouTube channel Kalusa Cosmetics. Please subscribe it to receive regular updates about plastic surgery videos. You can also visit our website kalosaesthetics.com and www.kalosa.in Thank you.